Hello everyone. Welcome to Clinosol Research YouTube channel. So today we are going to have one more topic on interview preparation question for clinical data management and this is part five. So we have already uploaded the CDM questions which is part one to four and today we are going to discuss five interesting questions about medical coding today and that is covered in interview preparation questions which is clinical data management part five. Without any delay, let's jump into the topics. The five questions today we, which I am going to discuss is what is medical coding? Uh, what is MEDRA particularly? And what is the scope of MEDRA? What is the hierarchy of MEDRA? What is the current version of MEDRA now when I am recording this session? What is the current version of MEDRA? What cannot be coded? What is out of scope of MEDRA? And how MEDRA is used for clinical data management? So without any delay, the first question, what is medical coding in clinical trials? So clinical trials, you will have a lot of terms which are adverse events or signs and symptoms or diseases or drugs or medications which are being used across a uh, globe. And to standardize all the terminologies or terms which are used in clinical research or clinical trials, we have bought some standard dictionaries. And those dictionaries, uh, we are getting into it. That's something which is called as medical coding. So now the dictionaries are being used to code the terms into codes, then it is called as medical coding. So conversion of terms, adverse event terms or diseases or signs and symptoms or lab data to codes, which is accepted worldwide and including regulatory bodies, then it is called as medical coding. So medical coding is a process that involves the assigning of standard codes. So this involves the assigning of standard codes to medical diagnoses or procedures or uh, health-related informations or health-related data. It plays a crucial role. So it's a very crucial role in organizing and categorizing of clinical data. So organization of data and categorization of clinical trial data is very important for the purpose of the submission of data, for analysis of the data, for the reimbursement of the data, and also for the research purpose. So organizing of the data and also to make sure that data is being put at organized and analytical level for either reimbursements or for research or for analysis is called as medical coding. So mostly we will use medical coding in terms of statistical analysis and for research purpose, uh, the organizing of clinical trial information or clinical trial diseases or signs and symptoms and adverse events or other conditions. Now, what is METRA? So METRA is one of the dictionary which is used for coding. So MEDRA is Medical Dictionary for Regulatory Activities. So MEDRA has been a globally recognized medical terminology used in the field of either in cl clinical research or pharmacovigilance or clinical data management. And it is being developed by MSSO, which is Maintenance and Support Service Organization. It is provides a standardized language for classification and coding of adverse events and drug-related effects or your PQCs or medical conditions or medical histories or signs and symptoms or diseases or adverse events or your lab uh, details. So in either in clinical trials or clinical data management or post marketing surveillance or anywhere which you are using. So the medical coding dictionary is MEDRA, which classifies and organize the data of adverse events and disease related information for making sure that the organizing of data is being correctly performed. So this is about MEDRA. MEDRA is Medical Dictionary for Regulatory Activities and Globally Recognized Medical uh, Terminologies Used in a uh, Field of Clinical Research Pharmacovigilance or uh, in your uh, drug safety. And it provides the standardized language. It provides the standardized language for classification and the coding of adverse events or drug-related effects and medical conditions observed uh, during your clinical trials or reported in your post-marketing surveillance. So now what is scope of uh, MEDRA? How the scope of MEDRA is being done? So the scope of MEDRA, medical coding dictionaries, the medical dictionaries for regulatory activities is quite extensive. And it encompasses several key areas in healthcare and pharmacovigilance and clinical research. Some of the main scope of MEDRA, which can be coded by MEDRA, is adverse event terms. So whenever you are getting adverse event terms, MEDRA is used to code the adverse event terms to the codes. Next one, signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms will be coded by using MEDRA. Next one, diseases. So diseases will be coded by MEDRA. And medical history terms. The previous medical history diseases or terms will be coded by your MEDRA. Indications like, for example, a drug is being used for XYZ indication. Then also 
Metra is used for coding and lab test names or lab test uh, details have to be coded by Metra. So scope of Metra in a simple answers, adverse event terms, signs and symptoms, diseases, medical history terms, indications and lab informations and also all your previous medical history diseases which is called as scope. Now, what is hierarchy of Metra? So medical dictionaries, what is a hierarchy? So hierarchy, you have five levels. The first one is SOC, HLGT, HLT, PET, and NLT. So SOC is system organ class, like example of gastrointestinal disorders. Hi HLGT, which is high level group term, like for example, gastrointestinal signs and symptoms. High level term, which is example of the nausea and sign nausea uh, or vomiting symptoms and preferred term, which is nausea. And lowest level term is uh, feeling quasi. So now what is your current version of Metra? Every year, uh, the MSSO releases two versions of Metra. Every year, there will be two versions of Metra, the major and minor versions. Major version is released in the month of March and minor version is released in the month of September. So Metra, the major and minor versions, March brings the major version. Uh, while September brings or welcomes your minor version. The current version when I am recording this sessions, uh, it is your 26.1, which was released in September 2023. The latest one more updated version, uh, it will come in March 2024, which will be 27.0 and September it will be 27.1. So coming back to Clinosol, Clinosol is a training organization which provides the training for clinical research, CDM, pharmacovigilance, medical writing and regulatory affair. We also provide the upskilling and skill development for one to two years experience. And coming back to achievements of 2023, admissions 252, placements 141, blogs 260, articles 98, presentations 280 and industry experts 72 and MOUs 19, events and competition 42 and workshops are 24. So to know more about uh, information on admissions and also the courses which are available, you can contact us 912-115622. So thank you so much. We'll be meeting once again with one more latest topic for interview preparation questions. Till then, thank you so much.